unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not my day walk man, on. we got a special guest back in the house mm-hmm. today, man. I'm excited, man. This guy right here don't need no introduction. Y'all hear him all the time. Been hearing him for years here in Dallas, putting it down like it's supposed to be done. Man, my boy Jay Cruz is in the building. You know, there's a lot of people gonna get mad at me for this, but I agree. <laughs> Iron Man. It, 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 that's dope, man. What the guan? <laughs> so, man. And that's it. That's all, man. That's all you got? I, got, I mean, a couple more, but I, the one, the, I know the dirt, a lot of Jamaicans sometimes right. get mad at that. Like, they don't, that's you know, how. like, yo. That's how. Because you don't say properly. That's you what I'm saying. Yeah, and yeah, I don't, yeah, and yeah. I mean in the respect when I just did yeah, that. That's yeah, why yeah. I was like, some people are going to get mad at me. <laughs> I interviewed uh, Pop Can, Pop, Popcon one Pop time. Mm-hmm. And... In the interview, I did, you know I was like, yo, I was gonna. He was like, no, 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 don't do that. You know, he's like, don't do that. You know, like, he's like, you good, just be but yourself. But some people are good though. Some people are very good at doing if it. If you are, and like, you know, but even if they find out you not, right, and you just, it, it still can rub people the wrong way. So I just threw a disclaimer before I said the what. <laughs> man, you did a good job, man. For me, it was like right. one point. You. Yeah, no. Yeah. And I'm an East Coast boy too, so the culture, you know, Jamaican, you know, you just, you know, it's out yeah. There. The East Coast seem to have a, a, a Caribbean feel. Like they're everywhere, of course, but the East Coast predominantly, I see sure. there and and like Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida. A lot heavy. of people from New York move to Florida. Florida. Like there's issues down in Florida sometimes because New Yorkers be like trying to go to Florida. Right, right. From what I hear, I'm not a. Mm-hmm. My mom lives in Miami, uh, but yeah, it's a lot of Dominicans, Cubans. Uh, Puerto Ricans, mm-hmm. you know, the more Caribbean side of Latino is is, is the whole. Right. It's very similar to the Jamaican. Co- we love platanos. Yes. Oh, plantains. my God. Girl, like mm-hmm. plantains. Is what, I, be, know, like, I be eating them. I love platanos. I don't say them like that. I can't I even well, say them like that. That's how we say them. <laughs> you good? So, man, let me ask you, man. Like, you how can, do you cook it? Uh-oh. I like it. Do you um, fry it? Yeah, I fry it. Oh. Now, you know, we make mofongo. We make, like, there's different ways to make it. But I like it when it's almost... Um, Rotten and mm-hmm. you slice it yeah. and you fry it because it's so sweet and mushy. That's and it's how like that's soft. how, that's how we do it too. Right, but you could if you cut it when it's green and fry it, it's thicker. It's, it's like, like well, we yeah, like like not like a potato. chips. That's why we use exactly we make right, chips. right. So it's just different texture depending on when the the. the Cause is it a fruit Have you ever? Do y'all boil it too? We can boil it. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's when you too. mush it, kind of yeah. almost like a like. Mashed potatoes, but not like right. mashed potatoes. It's right. different. You be don't tell me you be cooking like that. You I do out? not cook. No, <laughs> it's not like but you he know. Down. Wifey, How did no, he that's know. right. My mom's. You know, my mom's cooking, and then wifey made made it a point to learn my mom's dishes. Oh, I was about to say. Yeah, she, she so really? she knew how to keep me. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Crazy. <laughs> I lost my mom at an early age, and a lot of those the taste buds. I I had to figure it out at the end. I watched her cook, and uh-huh. it's funny how it, it came to me. I was at, right, like right. I was able to grab. Because he wasn't in those. the kitchen, but he'd be like I, I trying to make taste. it. He'd be like, "Okay, so it's missing something." And the palate, the way they yeah, call I, I knew, yeah. I knew. He's but looking yeah, for I don't. Taste. I don't like if you be like, "What's in there?" I'd be like, "I don't know, but it's good." Like, <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not gonna be able to tell you like, "Oh yeah, there's rosemary in the air," and there's like, I'm not gonna be able to. Know you should try to surprise her one day and go in the kitchen. There we go. I don't know. There I think, we I think go. Instead of a surprise, that would be out. like a problem. That would be like, why did you do this? You spent a lot of money on this shit and it's terrible. Let's just go out to eat. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, or bring a chef in or something. But no, I just, I, if I had, there's certain things I can make. I'm okay with breakfast. And like, you know, there's certain things I, oh, I So can you can do, cook breakfast I, meals. Yeah, I can do breakfast. I can okay. do breakfast. I yeah. got to cook you breakfast here. I'm missing. It. It's been a while. I know. It's been Look, some I'm years. It ain't been no years. It's been a year. Ever Are since, you serious? Ever since it's this podcast long started, long y'all ain't got no time. I got to do better. I, I could. I got to do better. I bring the roses, he'll, though. He'll, yeah. yeah, he does bring the roses. I was gonna say, yeah, he, marriage counseling talk yeah. one hundred and one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll get up and he'd be like, "Man, I was gonna make you breakfast this I was. morning." How you gonna tell her what you were gonna do? Cause <laughs> he does the disappointment that. is real. I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like, I'll be right seriously I wanting was to do it. Like, gonna I, spend like a lot of money on your birthday, yeah. but instead I decided not to. No, yeah. no, no. Then he'll turn around and be like, "Okay, so baby, what you cooking me for breakfast?" <laughs> 
<laughs> no, because she's better at it anyway. It's, it's, I love y'all, though. I love y'all, man. Too. Y'all been, I remember the first time I came here, I was so impressed with y'all. 20 years going on, man. Hey, man, uh, God is good, right? The way y'all work together in here, I really Man, love we've had some of the craziest things. You left us over here. You should have came back, like, all the time and checked on I, us, I right? I should have. From I'm that serious. beginning, right? Man, how you, far you've come you and know the growth. You stuff done happened over here, man, like, it, and, and other places we've mm-hmm. went, man, it's been, a, it's been a hell of a run. It's been a learning process. That's yes, it has. Is. I'm, it's I'm, getting you ready for the next level, man, the next step. Man. And then we also do um, guest hosts. So sometimes you got to come and help us. You got to come uh, back and and, and be a. Oh yeah, yeah. Come yeah. back and be come a here, guest host. On that side, with you. Yeah, right. yeah. Come on. That's the hard on who question. Yeah. Depends <laughs> Charlemagne, on who these motherfuckers. Ooh, that's bad. Now he gonna go hard on them. That so dude, I heard that, your man. bars is trash. No, that's that's. <laughs> hey, shout out to my boy, man, Bubba Dub. He come on here a lot and talk like that. Yeah. Yes. Be real honest, oh, like that man, whack. I love when Bubba Dub come on the show. He he, for some reason he loved the show, and um, we he God came show on you with Myron at one time. The vibe, yeah, the setup. Yeah, he was on here with Myron. She asked Myron. Mm-hmm. It was dope, man. Them yeah. boys kicked it, man. Yeah, let me know. Invite me, man. I'm good. I come man, through. Man, I just thank you, man, for just coming when nobody was here. Right? right, I gotta say that, man. Like that's the part that I, I look back and some of the people that we reach out to and some of the things that we heard, and you was one of the real ones. And it was like, man, you know, you I, I and I. I don't play about it either. Certain people that didn't come, and I'm not mentioning no names. <laughs> Listen, you, you wanted no more. Regret it in a minute, no. right? They're gonna be like, God damn it! I, I should have went on boss talk, bro. It, was, it right? was somebody that hugged you that got you here. You don't even realize that. It's a dude that posted been here. He did a picture hugging you. We had put his picture up. He didn't come, and I, I seen you. He hugged you. I said, I'm gonna bring everybody that he trying to hang out with. <laughs> And you showed up. Oh I was God. laughing. I was the part of your vengeance. <laughs> I was just a part of your evil plan. But you was dope. To destroy this dude who canceled <laughs> no, on you. No, and I was just I'm I was a pawn. He I was might a pawn. know once he was there. Right, like, I remember that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Damn. I was, you didn't know. No, I didn't know. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, I could. I, I know. know. I knew it happened. And he'd be just, doing things and then don't tell me about it until. And then he'd be like, "Oh, I didn't tell you." <laughs> But no, nah, you, that. man, you one of them ones, though, man. Like I said, when I say things, man, I, I might invite somebody and I'll be like, God didn't give me him, but he gave me Jay Cruz, and I'm never going to disrespect that. I'll be tripping like mm-hmm. that. He does. Like, I don't, I, I really take it serious. <laughs> I appreciate and that. And it's because I know that I'm not going to dumb it down. You didn't have to do that. And then for somebody else to give us flack, it ain't meant for them to come. No disrespect to them. Right, still no, love them. Still right, love right, what they're right. doing. <clears throat> but at, but I know it's different with me and you, and I ain't playing with that. That's the way I think, bro. You're, <laughs> everybody know that, though, that we mm-hmm. come on the show. If, if yeah, it can't, it's like, I'm going right. to love you to death. You call me and say, E, I need you here. I'm like, where you at? I'm coming. Right, 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 right. No way I'm not coming, right? right so I know who to call when I get arrested. I promise you I'm going to be there. He'll be there. He will be there. That's my gift, actually. I help everybody be locked up, right? That's who a lot of people. I had a guy on here and I hadn't put it out yet. I met him in the parking lot. He did like 25 years in prison. I brought him right in here and interviewed him. Him and his friend came in here. I, was like, I don't care. That's one thing good about podcasting is you can do kind of what you want to do. Oh, yeah. No, that's the freedom of him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at LeBron. LeBron just took his show off HBO. You know, he had that show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He just took it off HBO to put it on YouTube. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. YouTube That's is the dope. way. It's, because what you I, think? I you think at, YouTube the way? I look at YouTube as a new TV. It, it very much is. Look, so who's uh, there's another player that has a YouTube show. I can't remember his name. Which one? Um, like, um, uh, it is that guy with the braids, right? He got uh, braids, kind of. But well, I think that's why. Huh? Brandon Marshall. Brandon yeah, Marshall, Brandon, that's I think, him. And I think I think that's one of the reasons LeBron is doing this. He's seeing that on YouTube, he can have more freedom, more control, mm-hmm. and HBO's cool, but. You, you got to pay for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have HBO Max, and you got to pay for it. Yeah. Like, you know, and it's not free. YouTube's free. It's free. Now, no, let to me a, rephrase to that. A point. No, no, no. Internet isn't free. You have to pay for it. <laughs> the only right. thing that's free is motherfucking radio. Hey, you baby. said that last time. It's the only thing that's actually free, though. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You said that last it was time. It all radio. Radio ain't, man, radio's going to be so, around. I want to know uh, how was it. I, I had to, I thought about this question all when me and you talking. I was at the dentist. I was getting murdered, and uh, <laughs> I, was a, I was a part of that. Was yeah. <laughs> he was like, "I see it in your face." Look I said it. Hey, he said he, was like, he said to the dentist, "See, nobody fucking likes y'all. <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes you, motherfucker." <laughs> And the reason I did that because I hate him. But my wife, she's like, you got to go. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I hate going too. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. It made me most feel even men, worse. I'm like, you right. Most men hate the doctors and hate the dentists. They hate anything that has to do with any checkups. No, yeah, that's I not true. I don't necessarily hate the doctor as much. But the dentist, I just, especially, 
Oh yeah, and you had no, to sit there forever. Oh, I can't. I, yeah, oh, God, I but I gotta the ask trick you. To that, make sure you put on some chapstick before you go. That yeah, too. Yeah, you be lips be cracking, and sometimes they're really rough. They are rough. Right. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Are you angry today? Like I'm gonna need you to calm the fuck down. <laughs> so let me ask you, man. So going from ninety seven nine to K one oh four, sir. Uh, two different morning shows. Um, yeah. What is the difference? What's the big difference? Uh, the biggest difference is um, the DD in the morning show is a syndicated morning show. Okay. They're in 60 plus cities. That's a machine. Okay. It's a, it's a machine. It's different. Like this, the, the way it works is real different. With Vita, uh, we were all first timers and it was a... It was way more of a learning experience and more hands on. Like we had to do everything. Yeah, like you know what I mean. And uh, it which was is a, great... a blessing because yeah, you learn so much. That kind of pressure life. pushes you to another limit. As a, exactly. And, but also working on a uh, a machine like Didi, I get to focus on the craft. Yes, and not so much on editing the audio, running this here, posting this, doing this, doing that. Where it's more like okay, I can just focus. Like mm -hmm. you know, it was almost like. Uh, it, 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 I would say that's the biggest difference. It's it's not more relaxing, but more I can zone in on just being an on air. You know what I mean? A personality mm -hmm. instead of like doing a whole lot more. How, how, how long was your break? Because at first you told me it would be about six months. It seemed it like was it, more like, it a, seemed a, like year. a year. Yes. What happened? Yeah. Uh, just life. You know, just yeah. the way. Not not for me on my point. Just as far as like. Things weren't ready. Okay. Things didn't fall into place. First, I had the six six months period. You know, right. I left. I remember you told us that the last yeah, time when you. Were I left here. the beat on. A, I took a risk on myself. I said yeah. I'm gonna leave because I need to be a free agent and see what other opportunities I could get. And you know, I had to wait the six months anyway, so I had to wait six months. Six months came up. I started, you know, really pushing my shit because in the meantime, I was sending my shit out. You know. I, but only Dallas here wasn't in Dallas. My, no, Dallas was not my only option. Okay, so yeah. you were willing to move. No, absolutely. This is the radio world. If okay. New, no, this to Dallas. If New York City or Cali were like, hey, do, 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 I'm, I'm a go. I'm a go experience. Yeah, look, don't look at big... me like that. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm I, Texas, right? I'm like, yeah, what? Or a TV opportunity. Like, you know, if he Because those are the bigger markets. New York, Yeah, the bigger California. markets, for sure. And not to, Dallas is an amazing market. I, I'll, I'll live and die here happily. No no issues and it's done so much for me but i'm also not scared of opportunity or to move i moved my whole life i tell my mom mom you set me up for success to be in this line of work because i'll go where the job is i am not attached too much to a place but does the children wow. feel the same way oh absolutely not nah. they're scared of shit <laughs> that's what i was Demo, like it's like nah dad nah nah they don't like, want to go I, but i remember going to <clears throat> excuse me six different elementary schools i remember moving from pittsburgh i mean from new york to pittsburgh for different countries too like from country to country to new york to pittsburgh and but then did you love it at Are first, no, right? As right. a kid, but I, then I got used to being the new kid in school. I got used to starting over. One thing that it set me up for, I'm not scared to move. Mm -hmm. When I when I had an opportunity and it came to me when I was in Pittsburgh and, you know, that station sold and we all lost our jobs and and then, uh, what was it, six months, seven months, I got a phone call about, hey, come, come to Dallas. You know, I'm an East Coast dude, like, through and through talking about coming to Dallas. What? <laughs> they trip me out when they try to do that. I, I got this. I got this. I've been here long enough. That Dallas or whatever. Mm -hmm. When I do southern accents, it be everywhere. It be well, from like Kentucky, Louisiana, because I I can't really. You and Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard don't on that uh, what was uh, that movie? Hustle and, Hustle and Flow. He was trying to get that southern accent. Man. Down. <laughs> well, that's what it is. And then you meet so many southerners from different places, and the accents are all different. All different. Right? Like all Louisiana different. is way different than Dallas, and then right. you know it's just all different. But so how many different? Um, networks are in Dallas, as in radio. Um, I think well, well, you got to look at is you talking about because what I'm kind? Because talk, I'm talking because I know channels. Well, radio stations, <coughs> so you know nine seven point nine one zero four. But are those um are those are the two five, one big, five, dot seven. The biggest ones? Which ones yeah, are the so biggest ones? as far as like, well, no, because you know, Kiss. Yeah, like, Kiss is like the number one. Oh, like, it Kiss is. kicked. Yeah, the the top forty pop station. They they kill and they're Clear Channel. Their own, so it's more about companies. And that's here in Dallas. Well, they're everywhere. Okay, Clear Channel owns a lot of shit. Okay, Viacom. see, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's okay. iHeart, you know, yeah, okay. iHeart yeah, now, no, all I that heart. shit. So okay. they, they you have big players 
that own radio stations, TV stations, and that shit's across the country. So you can work for Clear Channel, but anywhere in, in, in oh, America. Yeah, because so they're stay everywhere. Here and then, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, if you're, a, it depends on your personality, right? I don't really want to work at a pop station. Yeah. I just, mm. no, nah, not, not that I don't like Katy Perry <laughs> <laughs> or fucking Taylor Swift. What's up, Swifts? Uh, or, but, or Justin Bieber. He's or Biebs. Biebs is I like though. Yeah, I like all music, man. Or Chris I, Brown. Know, except for like country. I'm Chris like Brown pop too. I love country. Yeah, Chris I Brown's like pop too. He is. Yeah, I just want to make pop, sure. But he's also R&B. He can do whatever. It's like huh? Michael. Yeah, not like Michael. Like I said, like I didn't say he don't do that. <laughs> that was a big thing. Listen, on that's show. been a big thing. That was a big we had thing. Guys he like, is like we had Michael to a little educate bit, though, people bro. on not playing with Michael Jackson on this show because Michael Jackson at first phase and you start seeing what happened. I didn't say he's Wait, equal man. to Michael. I know, but but people but don't people really understand. You, you don't know? think you don't compare his his mm, his journey. Maybe not his journey. Not his like, journey no, at all. He hasn't been as he's not as big, but like. Well, he didn't stay consistent as long. Yeah, well, there, yeah, and he had. He still got to live some more, right? For sure, and but he's there's other shit happening with him that I think gets in the way of him just fo- being an artist. Like we're talking about his cases and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like different. that. Not to say that I don't Mike say had a lot of going to me. Chris Mike had a lot more like a usher to me. Usher too. No, nah, uh, I don't play with Usher either. Don't do that. I'm no, I said, you know what I said no, the other day? Do that. Don't do that. Two, don't do that. You know what I said? Don't do that. I think The Weeknd, his music reminds me of Michael. You said yeah. The Weeknd. The Weeknd. I, I ain't gonna his, lie. His, I used to think, what's that other boy name? The boy that can't take his hat off. Neo. Neo sound like Michael to me. He has mm. certain songs where his, I hear Michael. His tone, maybe? Yeah. And he writes a lot of music. He's a talented dude. Uh, yeah, he but is. But again, all right, so let's get off this. Because I said like. <laughs> I said he's like Michael. Nobody's not, like okay, Mike, man. Okay, I love Mike too, my G. I get it. I get it. You, I get it's you. It's hard get it. to do it. Because I thought about forever. new new addition and all that. Like, you can't play with Mike. No, you can't. Mike, Mike was something, is serious. something different. But uh, what about Prince? Prince was dope, but he wasn't Prince Mike. Prince was dope. Prince played 27, 27 instruments because right. there were songs that he put out that he played every single sound, including the I singing know. in the whole song because he could do a whole Look album by himself. See, this, this is a hell of a situation. In a studio. <laughs> but he, he could really do it all by himself. He wouldn't need another it. person in the room because he could play the drums, he could do the guitar, he could do this, he could do the vocals. Yeah, but he didn't well, do the moonwalk. No, he, he and, and like see, his, songs, the his songs aren't as iconic. But Ooh. you know what, though? Who was behind all that shit, though? Behind Mike? Who, who was behind all that? Quincy Jones, cuz. A lot of it. It was some phases of Mike, man. This whole it, thing. I understand. Smokey but that first Robinson, album, when but that first, first album, right? You're talking about Thriller? 25. Yeah. Thriller? That's, yeah. A, that's Quincy Jones behind a lot yeah, of that, But right? you got, that, that's just, no, it, that's I'm a not phase. Saying, and it was a phase, and he has other stuff. Like, okay, we got to stop talking about Mike. We got to be here for too long. All right, we got to be done. So, listen, man. <laughs> I, got, I was going to ask you, like, is this the longest you ever stayed in a location? Um... Because I thought about that, Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. This is my longest radio run. That's what I thought. In, in, in Dallas, for sure. Because we the dopest. It, listen, I love it. I love it, man. It's giving me everything. The, base, the best decision I ever made in my life was coming to Dallas. I say that all the time. I say it all the time. Um, I love where I'm from. I love my culture up at, up north. You know, I'm an East Coast boy, and you can still see that it's still in me. You know, people always like, oh, you, you ain't from here. Where are you from? Um, but you from East Coast, but what, which pizza is better again, uh, New York Chicago. Or, or Chicago? Yeah, if you Chicago. like thick ass. Which one I is it? Thick ass crust and I shit do. like that. Chicago style. <laughs> I, I love it. I like Chicago style pizza, but I'm a I'm a thin slice, bend it in the middle. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like nah. that. That's that's what we do. Well, I told you. Hey, you know, I no, like the thick. I, I like know. stuff crust. I from love Chicago. all of that. I get it. Yeah, yeah, you like pepperoni. You like anchovies. You yeah, like mushrooms. I want you like, all the meat. You want tree stuffy. bark. You want. Uh, <laughs> you want. Uh, uh, what is it? Put anchovies? everything on it. Jalapenos. You want everything on there. I know. Mm, I get it. That's pineapples. a thick pizza. Pineapple. Not okay. A lot of people aren't fans of. Putting pineapple, uh, ham and pineapple pizza, and I love it. I yeah. love it. See, I, well, I, I love it, girl. I will order the, ham and pineapple. What's the thing in Pittsburgh? That what's the food that sticks out there? Um, the Polish culture is pretty big, so okay. they got like halushki and they got like pierogies. Okay. I don't know if you know what those. Don't are. Don't know what the hell that is. Like, it's like a almost like a not a pastry, but it's like a dough, and it's stuffed with either like mashed potatoes and cheese, or just mashed potatoes, or uh, I think other stuff sometimes. But um, That's Italian the, cultures, yeah. you know, Italian food. Uh, uh, you know, um, 
trying to think of some other stuff. Uh, oh, we got this place called Permani Brothers. Okay. It's uh, this, They make these uh, sandwiches that are super bomb because there's coleslaw and french fries on the sandwich. And you can get whatever kind of thing on it, like anything. But they're called, it, you can look them up sometimes. I'm going to have to. We got to go to Pittsburgh. We've never been. Pittsburgh's cool. Have we been through there? We haven't even been through there. No. We're going to go. Yeah, check it I'm out. I'm real nosy. I'll be trying yeah, to Yeah, no, Pittsburgh's it good. It's got a lot of history and shit, but it's also very industrial. Like, it just, I don't know if you've you ever been to Ohio. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's way upstate. You well, be in. But then we, if you go to yeah. Pittsburgh, you'd want to go get Hot Link. Is it Pittsburgh? Yeah, Hot Link. Well, uh, no. they have uh, oh, That's ca- Pittsburgh, Texas. Kibasi. Don't do that. We got Kabasi. Don't do that. Yeah, that's Pittsburgh, Texas. Right? Don't do that. We got Kabasi. There's a. Uh, Halushki, you know, again, like the Polish culture is really big in, in the Berg. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, but the food's cool. It's, it's, it's different. It's different. It's Have you ever did, like, Detroit or D.C.? Uh, D.C., I spent some time in D.C. because uh, my mom. What's that sauce they eat out there? We was eating out there? I oh, I, I couldn't tell you. Mumbo, that. mumbo. Oh, yeah, I don't mumbo know. But, but I, did, I spent, like, a, a week and a half in D.C. Uh, we had uh, my mom's boyfriend's uncle or cousin lived out there. He was a party uh comedy show promoter so okay he flew us did out you like months. it bro we was wilding out that week in dc bro i never seen hookers on the corner just flashing their titties <laughs> like yo what the <laughs> fuck hey baby what's up come on where in. was this and i saw a lot of players wore cowboy boots yeah i saw yeah. that like the cowboy hats in the club and shit oh and like cool story right so i went to dc to go stay with this girl that worked for a label because when it was when me and my brother was rapping mono e mono back in the day shout out to my brother so so smooth and uh she had come to the radio station in Pittsburgh. I wasn't even on radio yet. And she showed interest in me. So she was like, oh, come stay with me in Chicago. No, well, I didn't have sex with her or anything because it just wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> happening. But I had to take one for the team. My brother was like, yo, you better go. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go. So I went, stayed with her. She was real cool. But uh, we had a club one time and we in the VIP. So I'm standing at the edge. Like I'm over here. And there's like a little bit of room over here. I'm just standing there, you know. Chilling because there's like some celebrities I ended up seeing like uh, Tyrese and okay. Cisco like okay. real quick blah blah blah. But before I saw them, I was standing right here, sitting and I look like I did like a take. I went like this because I could tell somebody was next to me and they were really tall. Fucking Michael Jordan, cuz hey. wow. swear to God, right? So <clears throat> how, did, how was that? Well, here I'm gonna show you because I can't forget meeting Michael. <laughs> I know. So I'm standing there Mike. and I kind of like because I could see that somebody tall had come next to me and I went. Like you did that double take, right? I went, what? And when I did the tuck, when I the second time I looked, he looked too, like, and he knew, like, he smiled, and he was like, I was like, oh shit, you know, dapped him up, and that was it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was great, though. Because better than what I done. We da- right? No, nah, it was a dap up. I was like, man, oh, I said, nice to meet you. Like, he was like, all right. And then as soon as that happened, the people realized that he was there, and, and then move. they just started storming. And I, and I kind of just crowd like, be I just moved on. over because. I'm not gonna. I'm no, not gonna, no, I'm not gonna no, get no, crushed no. Crowd, in this whole thing. Right, I don't right. want to be in it. I don't want to be in it. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was too much. But that was. It, you know, that's like the one. You know, he don't remember that shit, but I do. <laughs> as you should. As you right, should. Right. I sure would. I'd have had his picture on the wall. Well, this wasn't. Those, it didn't have yeah, selfie it wasn't days, that, days then. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that easy to just pull. You know what I mean? It wasn't those days. Like like did, like now, people be mad at you, man. Don't do that. I don't want to take a picture, man. I'm, I don't care. I did my. That's why I did Michael Irvin. I ain't even got that picture up. I was like, he's like. Uh, I had my camera people with me. I was like, man, we taking a picture, bro. I might not never see you again. He's like, right. no, we didn't, I didn't come here for that. I was like, well, I don't care, nigga. We finna take a picture. I, you know, I'm crazy. I'm going to nah. say whatever. And he was laughing like, this dude crazy. Yeah, so like my people, I'm telling my it. people, nigga, go on, take the picture. He talking right now. Get it. Yeah, take it while we talking. We don't have to be like this. <laughs> no, so let's take the fuck but the he went and right here. And then he said, man, you see what you start? People start trying to come Everybody take pictures. Knows. You see, that's the reason why they don't do it. Cause they ain't have no security with him or nothing. It was just me and him. Ben Roethlisberger came to my birthday party in Pittsburgh. That's dope. And he he walked up into the VIP, whatever, you know. Me and Santonio San Holmes okay. would always hang out like in the VIP section at clubs when I was because that was my era. Yeah. When I yeah. was on air, that's when we like we won Super Bowls and shit and all yeah, that. Like, you know, we're the Steelers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to talk to you uh, about some right. football, but yeah, we ain't there yet. Cool. Just, just, still, just, yeah, just uh, stay, on, anyway, stay with you So guys. I told him, I was like, hey, can we take a picture? He's like, hey, you know, I'm not really doing that tonight. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, he came to the birthday party. He's hanging out in the VIP. I'm, like, I'm good. Fuck it. Five minutes later, he's taking a picture with some blondes. And I'm like, oh. That's the way they do it. 
You didn't get your picture? <sighs> no, I didn't get it. It's fine. Because you weren't a girl. It's fine. And then I think my mom was there, too, and I had asked, like, yo, you know, my mom was like, no, I ain't really taking no pictures. Oh. And like I said, like, five, ten minutes later, I seen him taking pictures with these blondes Because you was too nice. You should have been like, no, nah, you weren't cute enough. Pictures, nigga. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he, Ben. Ben, ben. kind of aggressive with the women. I already heard about yeah, it. That's from Ben. Yeah. <laughs> How did you like the Super Bowl uh, uh, halftime show? That, that was dope. That was wonderful to see hip hop. Fifty came up, like you know. Fifty came up, you know. Wait, he was, is that what you're trying to say? Because you was holding your belly go, when you, you know, said he that. Supposed to say, he supposed to come up. Like he didn't get to come up. He kind of just got down. I mean, he's look. That man has. You listen. That dude is a machine. Like man, as far as like bad, what he bro. has accomplished and people. And he's mean. He's mean too. Like on so. Like sometimes I wonder. Like he's. You know, because you could get so people try to cancel you. So they can't handle him. Fifty, like he, he'll say what he wants. And yeah, like, there is no like some people will be like, man, you need to cancel him. I can't believe he said that. And this guy, like, it never gets support. It never, it's never supported. Like it's, and he's like executive producer. Like he's putting he's out heavy, shows, dude. That but he bad, still bro. will hop online and say what and throw the shit out of you. Yeah, no, yeah. I already get like, it. Bitch, give me my and money. That's him. Yeah. I'll be like, mm -hmm. right. So it's like a. I admire him, and then sometimes he might say something where I disagree with him. Like, man, that's fucked up that he said that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's life. You, I got friends that I don't and like everything they do. You know, mm -hmm. so and that's his opinion. He's Did entitled you see, to it. You see, uh, uh, my boy Dre getting down up there. He he don't usually come out. Dre, the whole nine. That was dope. Yeah, I like yeah. how the and they said you know they said he spent like seven million of his own money in the show. Wow. Yes, he, Dre put. He didn't get paid. He put money yeah, into got, it yeah. to. For the Make production, from what I gather, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, mm. he put his own money into it. Snoop did. Snoop put his in the death row, getting death row. Yeah, there. Snoop smoked, put it in the weed. He was smoking. Yeah. <laughs> this boy was over there like this. How you get? They got That's tape cool. of him hitting the joint before he stepped off. I, I believe like, he doesn't get he, high anymore. He can't threw, get high. He no threw more. up gang signs on the stage, like he was throwing up. You know, he kicking signs it. He kicking it. I ain't no crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just stole it real smooth. Well. You know I, how to do the it. The culture's there. Well, I, I, we was, yeah, we was bloods where I grew up, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that brings up a story. Did you? I know you seen the viral moment on here, didn't you? Mm -mm, when, oh know. yeah. Well, the OGs came down. The ones who originally started the Crips and oh, here in Dallas. Yeah. Uh. Uh. In like, L.A., I brought oh, them down. Oh shit. And uh, they got with one of the guests, uh, Charleston White. That uh, we have here. That was on this show. Oh shit. You watched it? I know everybody's seen see it. that. You Yo. didn't know? You didn't realize that was here? I I probably did. It's just. <laughs> Whatever. He got too much going on. Yeah, yeah. But, but I just won't go out with him. <laughs> but but, but do you think that the Crips and the Bloods that are out of si outside of LA are, are the same magnitude? We of used what's to going argue that in, in LA and Pittsburgh, where I grew up, because like for a while, like you know, I'm from McKeesport, Pennsylvania. That's what McKeesport, and you know, we they were mostly Bloods. <laughs> Me and my we threw a party when we was young when we first moved to the Berg. My sister had made friends with some Crips. And I made some friends with some bloods, and we invited them both to the party. Dude, <laughs> listen to what I tell you. They started fighting. The one dude put out a gun. He didn't shoot it, but he pulled it out in the de downstairs in the basement. I'm, I'm talking about this is like a this is a teen, like a 15, 16 year old yeah, kid. That's, what, that's the age. They started fighting. He pulled out the gun. People were running. The cops came. They shot shotguns. They, they ran up in the house. The, 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 the dudes ran. Nobody that's got shot. Right? Boy, the next day, we were the most popular motherfuckers <laughs> ever. <'cause laughs> that party was, was like, dude, that dude, yo, did you go to this party that day? Oh, man. Like, me and my sister were sitting like, I guess we did the right thing. Like, you know, nobody got hurt. Nobody got shot. But we were so, like, it was the, people to this day, people are like, oh, do you remember that party when the cops, people were shooting the blood in the cribs? And we were like, wow. Well, you know, we're from New York, so we crazy. Man, y'all good people, man. There's good people everywhere, right? Yeah, bro, it's good people. So, everywhere. so how's the hoods in, uh, up there, though? But the hood is hood, man. Come on. It's every, it's the yeah, hood is hood. Yeah, this yeah. culture's a little different, you know, because it's more like in the middle, like this. There's East Coast influence and there's down South That's influence what I was in thinking. Pittsburgh. It's a little bit of both, both, you know, and then they got their own sound. I mean, shout out to Wiz Khalifa, Mac Miller, two, two of the biggest to come, um, and myself. Hey, um, hey, hey, get it in there. Hey, that's what's up. Um, but yeah, you know. Um, How's the spins different from um, over in, over at uh, K104 and 96? As far as the music, how the plays go, the playlist different? or Because or, I know y'all play a lot of the same music because I used to get, a, I I used to get mad say, about that. I was going to say. I mean, like, I just heard that over here. I was, there's times where the, we're playing the same, same exact music. song at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, it is what you it is. You already knew that, though. Yeah, no, absolutely. Going into the situation. The music's not very different. No, it's because just whenever I used to listen to radio, because I haven't listened to radio in years unless I have to. But I'm just saying. You invite me on the show I, and say I'm, that shit? I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. not like her. I am <laughs> honest. I am totally kidding. Listen, no. No, because what I'm saying you know is that when said? I did. You know what you just what? said, though, is the perfect example of when people ask me, why do we play the same shit a lot, right? 
That's why, because your average person doesn't listen for hours at a time. So when you tune into the station, you're better off playing a familiar song that makes sense. than some new shit that nobody's heard or some underground hip hop shit that's hot in the streets or online because it's just a different world. It's not necessarily the same. So they, if there's 60 slots for 60 songs, Beyonce and Drake are right. going to have them. Instead sure. of like some new guy who's mm -hmm. just getting hot and people are talking about, you know what I mean? Which is cool. Eventually, he, but at night during the mixes is when they have the more more freedom where they can, right, right. you know, spice it up a little bit. But during the early hours and during the midday and pretty much till probably about seven o'clock, they're going to keep it very safe because it's mm -hmm. safer to play familiar music than it is to try to play something that if you tune in and you ain't never heard it, you're going to go to the other station or somewhere else yeah to because hear i'll be flipping through and i hate when i go on another channel i'm hearing like the same song and i'm like and it happens i get and it in my mind the first thing i'm like okay are they owned by the same people I'm no like, no no mom it's just it, it when drake's got a single out it's going they're down. gonna play it's it going when beyonce down. drops something it's gonna it's play going anybody down. it doesn't matter they're gonna they're gonna play and that's what they so need the, to do the playlist and i don't do them i you know obviously there's slight there's some differences uh program directors or mixers or whatever they have you know they do the things uniquely their own way so you'll hear some differences but overall it's the same music do you have to get up earlier for this morning show Absolutely. another yeah this is uh this is a little more this early syndication shit is crazy <laughs> uh, it's crazy because because you know i got it's a it's a 38 minute drive for me in the morning mm. so but we get to do right now until this this week it'll start we're all in there physically because before it was one day on one day off so i was doing Excuse me, I was doing the show from home too. Okay. Like mm, certain days, right? But uh, I got to get up at three o'clock every single day. Mm. Wow. 3 a.m. I do that anyway. For what? Just to edit, for the edit, shit. To edit all your videos. Yes, that's right. what he be doing. I've been doing it. I got to be. Yeah, but this what time morning. you sleep? I slept last night from about 11 to 1, didn't I? And then got up and oh, then, so you got and okay. Then, and then I came, came back, back to bed by five or six, five and to six. That's fine. No, that's cool. That's okay. But uh, with me, is like because I have to be up by three. I can't push really after 10. Like, I'm yeah. in bed now. Like No, 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 that's dope, man. Go to I mean, sleep at 8.30, 9 o'clock is weird as fuck. Cause. Now, <laughs> I got used to that shit with Vita for two years. You know what I'm saying? So it's not brand you new to me. You gotta train your body again. But then I was off for a whole year, staying mm -hmm. up every night till 4. Doing mm -hmm. whatever, watching movies. Like, I, like whatever. Like, I'm a night owl by nature, what you is, know? What has really caught you by surprise at, that you did not expect going over to K104? Hmm. Uh, something that you can talk about because it may yeah, be yeah, no, I feel you. No, no, that's cool. something that caught you by surprise. You never would have thought, like, what the heck? Um, th th we find the funny in everything okay. on DD in the morning. We really are the show that makes you laugh. Like, you know, no matter how serious the shit is, like, obviously we're tasteful. We're not totally, but like, right. we don't indulge too much in too much like serious shit. Okay. Like there's, a, you know, CNN, you got CNN, you got this. So we're not going to spend few minutes talking about Ukraine or something really, really sad and try to dig into like a serious topic where it just, you know, we're not about that. And that, coming from where I did a lot of news, like cruise news over at the beat, I used to like really like Dive indulge in being like a, 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 a broadcaster in some sense. Cause like, yeah, yesterday at the Ukraine invaded, da -da -da, but da -da 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 -da, like having like stating facts and shit like that. We're over at, at, Diddy, we don't do that. Yeah, I ain't mm. We leave that for, you know what I'm saying? So that's probably been the biggest eye opener to me where I'm, I don't have to be as prolific or serious with my n news and delivery about it because we, hey, oh, so this Ukraine thing is, oh man, that's terrible. All right, y'all, let's talk about this monkey who just fell off a roof. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm just, whatever. Yeah. Uh, we find the funny. It's more about the funny. And, and I thought about it the other day. I was like, we, you need that sometimes. Like, there's so many channels that you could go get the serious. Mm. Show me somewhere where I know they're not going to get too serious. It's just going to be more fun. And that's what they are. Man, that's and that's cool. dope that, that you is. get to laugh. You get to yeah, smile. Yeah, no, for you sure. To, every yeah. day, every day we laughing, cuz. Like, it's Every crazy. day. Yes, it's crazy. It's hard. My cheeks hurt sometimes. I'm like, man, we just funny. Go and check that out, Trey. Funny and laughing all the time, you know? So mm. that, yeah. that would be the biggest surprise to me. If you really, like I said, if, if if you look at it, man, for you to be in Dallas and hit 97.9, K104, you know what I mean? Do you do you still talk to Vita? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, 104 and I think one, uh, 104 and 105 are like 
the partner stations. Owned. They're yeah. owned by the same company. That's what I thought. One hundred five point nine and one hundred four. Just one hundred five point like, seven. Yeah, one hundred five point seven. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's my channel. One hundred five point. No, I like one hundred five point seven. That's cool. See, I'm old, so you, you could, know, that's You're not old, girl. Stop it. Um, uh, at ninety-seven nine and ninety-four point five. They like also own. Okay, by, that's, yeah, that's, that's Radio dope. One. They own both channels. Is it a? It's the, it's a competition. Well, I took no, somebody. It's a competition. No, I took it's, somebody out right to. Pop up DFW, you remember we was all out there, mm-hmm. and some girl said, "You from ninety seven nine? She said, "No, not from ninety seven nine. You don't remember you? This happened. Mm-hmm. You got to know who that was mm-hmm. that did it. She was really aggressive, like that. She didn't play that. Well, it might have been the drinks kicking in too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was buying drinks. It's it's also a small community, and you don't burn your bridges either. Yeah, like I left the beat on good terms. You did. It was good to me. They didn't do anything wrong. Like there was no, you know, I left on good terms because. Never know. Radio ones across the country. I might move one day or move, go somewhere, have to go and maybe right. want a job in that market. And I got to go back to radio one. So there's no, it, 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 there's no bad blood, but it is competitive, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like did, we, we had competition. Yeah. Did you get some congratulations or anything yeah, absolutely. From, from, absolutely. from another yeah, station? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Almost every single person, um, at the beat has congratulated me. That's okay, dope. so when you reached out to all these different companies everywhere, even not here in Texas, right, right, places, right. Um, after you got this job, because what I hate, after you get a job, did another job try to like contact you and be like, <laughs> hey, no, so okay. we was good. Yeah, no, I was super happy that this one. And my goal was to stay here. My ultimate goal was here, but I also, like I said, you leave your, you know, you. Put your throw your stuff out everywhere, you know. Because what's see, suppose if LA had called you after you got in that one? I might not be here. No, <laughs> I'm gonna come, no, no. come see your boy. We gotta like, keep you, but I come out there a lot too. Absolutely, so absolutely. I definitely and pull again, up. it's not a personal thing. It's, that's why uh, to me, it, it's 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 business, it's jobs, right? Like the NFL, right? Like players have no loyalty. They don't. Mm-mm. They don't have. They sh- they don't have to have any loyalty to a team. Correct. Except from Dallas. Girl, if you don't stop, except, it, from, except for I, if you play for the Mavs or the Cowboys, you can't Cowboys, go nowhere. And I'm not, and I'm not a Cowboys just big not time, at all. you know. But, but what? I don't see a something lot when of you ca- put that star on. It's something different. They just be I that. something different. They just be put that so star on dedicated to the Cowboys. Yeah. yeah, they're so dedicated to the Cowboys. Sure, you better not say <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> it's sure. so much you I can left say. It alone. I left it's it alone. so much. I want to use say. LeBron as an example, right? LeBron, because they be asking. You know, LeBron has moved around so much. Right. And shit. He might go to another team if he wants to. But to me, like teams, if you get hurt, they drop you. If you don't work out, they leave you. If you don't something, they get they find somebody else. They will replace you in a heartbeat. So let as far as a player, replace them in a heartbeat. Didn't Shaq say something it. about that the other day about LeBron? Like if they ever let LeBron go off of this team, this they're dead. They're, Oh, I, I don't, you know, I think the Lakers are the Lakers. They're a strong franchise, and they could probably, you know, bounce back. I mean, look at these young players, man. The, the game is faster, stronger. They're shooting threes from half court. It's it's different. It's it's, it's different. It's evolved. These boys could. Who is a new them. new um, basketball player that we should look out for? That you think that? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not that proficient. Like I'm not like a into that. I'm not. I don't watch ESPN. See, I don't. I really I don't I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, no, no, no. I'm and like, I, I got homies who be like, "Man, you're weird as fuck." Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really turn on ESPN. I watch mm-hmm. highlights. Yeah. I like, you know, stuff like that. If some, you know, on social media, I follow like CBS Sports and stuff like that. Where I'll NBA, mm-hmm. so I'll see stuff. But I'm not a guy who sits at home and watches full games. Okay. Football, yes, but not all the games either. Okay. I'm not. I'm just. I'd rather. <laughs> I'm more into like a movie. I'd rather watch a movie. Me, yeah, I'm saying. That's not what I mean. No, no, I love sports. I love playing sports, but I'm just not super big on, and I don't be knowing like where the where he from or what college he. You know what college he played for? No. Some people follow no the whole history. Yeah, no, no, no. no. That's what my son. Players. My son who plays basketball, uh, loves basketball. I feel like I, I might be able to set him up as a sportscaster in life if he ever decides to do this, mm-hmm. get him into this world because he just be knowing where they're from and this dad, you know, he did this and that and and I'd be like, well, to watch this movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, I don't know. What's your favorite movie of all time since you talking about movies? Uh, that's, I think that's an unfair me, question. I'm, I'm going to tell you what mm-hmm. it is. I got it. You don't oh, what know. what genre? Okay, first, before he answers that. That's a, that, good, that's a what, better, what, horror what, is my favorite. Oh, I'm not going to be able to answer so you that. Can't answer. I told, you know what? Oh my God, boy, y'all from Texas. I don't yeah. be liking the no horror. I love oh, possession, anything like with the devil and all that. I love horror. 
Uh, okay, okay. Uh, you scared me now. Okay, like, like, okay, okay. <laughs> Since you love horror, because I, I don't watch horror, like, you know. Girl, but I've, I've seen one them all. thing I've seen I about them. horror. Really? Absolutely. Okay. Watching old time horror back in the days when you were a kid, com- compared to the newer horror stuff. today, is horror it today be more, more intense. weak? No, here's the thing, okay? Because the older I get, the the I actually don't believe in ghosts. Mm-hmm. Like me personally, I really don't believe in that whole hocus pocus. You know, like I don't. Mm-hmm. So back in the day, they had they used less uh, spe- graphics, like special effects, to scare you. They used actual like mood and, mm. and, and like camera tricks or whatever to, to scare you where newer movies, they're like, you know, they'll CGI the ghost or something. And at that point you lose me. Right. There's a movie called hereditary that came out a couple of years ago. Right. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a possession film, not to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but it's, it. I don't think anyone, any of them are actually like scary. Where I'm like, oh my god, like where I gotta turn the TV off. Like I'm, I don't ever yeah, get to me, that scared. I remember when I was younger, like I could not watch. I remember Chucky. I remember Gremlins. I remember. Girl, you are naming kiddie movies. But I was okay, scared. Those are kid I movies. had nightmares over right, those no, movies. I get it. I get it. When I was a kid, but then, and so I never ever watched those. You ever see Pet Cemetery, the first one? No. Nah, you ain't see it. You over here watching kids. Freddy no. Krueger, all oh, of I that. I like Freddy. I like Freddy. You know, I watched I like all Freddy. of that. Or Carrie. Carrie was good. That was scary. Carrie was good. Yeah. You know, so, but I remember. That was good. At least you watched that. At least you watched that. <laughs> After you all of that. You know what I watched? That, Chucky. After all of that. Chucky's silly. I was like. <laughs> Chucky's silly. Let but me it's tell fun. you. I had a doll at home that was that tall. That sort of looked like Chucky. I was scared of <laughs> You was like sleeping. Oh, God. That thing is right there. Because every time you wake up, it looked like she was looking. It was a girl, though. She was, oh, was looking at you. We yeah. had this clown picture growing up. That I, I mean, we swore that thing used to move in that picture, man. That clown picture used to fall off the wall and stuff. What was that clown horror movie that? Oh, in, um, uh, Clowns from Outer Space. Remember that one? Oh, That's God. the old one. That was Y'all real stupid. Y'all tripping, man. Clowns Y'all from Outer Space. Oh, you scared tripping. of clowns over there? All of that. Okay, Everything. back in the days, which one was <laughs> the the best horror movie back in the days? I'm going to go with probably like Exorcist. Remember Exorcist? Have you yeah. ever seen that? I've Exorcist seen, is that's intense. Yeah. It's an intense movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she, <laughs> there's a scene where she stabs her vagina with, oh, a, well, with a cross piece. This. With no. a cross piece, like you see, no, the, the <laughs> most, no. Back in the day, the most horrific it was, it was when you know they're looking at you and then the neck turn and the head. Yeah, go well, that, that, that's, and, that's Exorcist, where her yeah. head completely yeah. turns yeah, around. Yeah, like, yeah. And she so says it, like nasty. She's like, eat my cunt. Oh, yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember that part. Yeah, no, she's possessed by the devil. He'd be saying, like, you know, like, just imagine if the devil did it. You know, he'd be saying, like, rude shit. What's that shit. one that um, they used to come through the TV? Poltergeist. That Girl, one. I told you, I've seen it. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> horror. Oh, all of I, that remember, shit. I remember I watching that. I love being in the complete darkness. No. In com- I want, like, I don't want to see no light, cuz. And I'm just sitting there. And I, I, I want the feeling of, like, Oh shit! You see that? Like I, I love that shit. I love. Did, you, wow. did any of those movies ever give you nightmares? Uh, yeah, uh, that, it's funny. I brought up Pet Cemetery. Okay, so there's a, there's this, there's this. Um, in the main characters, there's this girl, this woman, this uh, the mother who had a sick sister who had this disease where her backbone, like her your spine, was really like prevalent. Like you could see mm-hmm. it, and she, be, I, I think her name was. Carrie, I'm just gonna. I can't remember what her name was, but mm-hmm. she used to be like, Carrie, your back's gonna get twisted like mine. Like, you know, she had like mm-hmm. this. Oh my God. And I remember like literally having like nightmares and shit. Like, I used to be like, wake up, like, fuck. But it, <laughs> and you'd go back and watch absolutely. it again. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. I would watch the next scary movie that came out. But Let I've me, seen every big time, like every major scary no. movie that's come out in the past. I did 10 years, when I've I was younger, it. I would watch it. But I used to, this is how I trade my mind. I'd watch a scary movie, then I'd have to watch like five good movies after to that. To get it all to, out. To get it out of my mind. <laughs> so I wouldn't have a nightmare. Right. Or she would have watching I documentaries wa- and shit yeah, afterwards. Yeah, or yeah. after watching it, I'd be like, okay, that was just makeup. It's just makeup. It's just makeup. <clears throat> I watch, okay, so I, I watch scary movies with some of my kids too, and they're young. Wow. But that's how we watch them. I explain to them, this is all special. None mm. of it's real. It's all special effects. There's a person, like, the only reason why you're seeing it is because there's a cameraman behind them. They're making it, yeah. But we forget. You get caught you up get into, caught the, up movie. into the movie. But I, I, in general, you know, I had some TV acting experience, and also obviously I work with the CW, so I'm used to being behind the camera. So when I watch movies, I, I watch them on, like, that too. Yeah. Like, 
you know, scenes where like people are in a coffin. Yeah. I know how they're made. Yeah. They're literally mm-hmm. open, but you know, you got the camera, you zoom in on it and it's a tight spot and you feel like you can't breathe, but actually, you know, it's this big ass room, right? You, so like everything, special effect, I just, I want to You look at it. movies totally different From the, when, like, when you're actually have some experience in that when field. in that world exactly are you, right. are you, know, you still at the cw yeah what yeah for sure uh <laughs> entertainment news with jay cruz there it is the whole year i was off that's what was Kept keeping going. me going yeah, with the I tv remember, remember i remember and then uh now they now they're doing it a little differently where we're not doing live anymore now i go in on mondays and i pre-record my segments Dope. oh bro they got me hosting the st patty's day parade this sunday yeah, well, we want to definitely tell you we love you, no, no, Jay Let me say that again. I'm hosting the St. <laughs> Patrick's Day Parade this, yeah. on live TV. And I didn't TV. acknowledge it. I was wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to go to a You just went over to a, well, She I moved. Heard, she doing something over yeah, there. Yeah, well, you don't be playing. Huh? She can't make a little bit of noise. No, Jesus. no we got some. Uh, we are a professional. No, <laughs> no, it's not that. We just got a special thing oh, that we wanted to do. give you, and I thought she was going for it, so I was going to try Oh, okay. Well, let's go back yeah. to I'm hosting the St. Patty's Day Parade. He's hosting the Second St. Time. Patrick's Day Parade for the second time on, on Lord Greenville? Yes, on TV. And live. what are you going to do different this time than you did last time? Uh, I'm going to be with a different host. Last time I was with Vita. <laughs> wow. Uh, but it's the same thing. They got us on the same setup. Uh, and then we walked down the street like, man, there'd be thousands of people. There. That's, That's dope, crazy. man. Because yeah. um, I didn't know if, if well, every I, I, year you try to upstage yourself well, and you do know, something it's, different. It's funny because the year I did it, my, I had a beard. And I, I, I like... Not dyed it, but I bought this gel. The whole thing was green. Green. Wow. Yeah, it was like this That's big dope. green beard. So I might just do the goatee this year. But I'm making. I'm gonna get like a Didi in the morning, a green shirt made to rep. rep mm. the That's team. dope, and man. So I yeah, like I, got, it. I got some ideas. Y'all gotta be matching. You gonna bring you it? Can, you have to do the same thing that she does. Uh, Yolanda is gonna be my host. Um, nah, nah. I'm gonna do my They're thing. They're gonna have we'll green on. Thing. Yeah, you're doing green coming. We're gonna do green. So you don't sure. get pinched. Oh, I see what you mean with the green. Yeah, yeah, pinch me. I'm Irish. So we got yeah, a couple yeah, yeah, of goodies right. for you. Um, my my yeah. wife is pulling it out. Uh oh. Uh, we got you. We since Ooh, you, it's been a whole year. I know. I looked it. at the text message. I was like, man, this dude asked me for my size a year. I ago. know it. I'm sorry, man. So this has been going crazy you, though. You got your ball stop. And it got you stamp your name. I'm trying to make up here. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you got my name? Yeah, yeah. Both of them actually. So is I just customize. Is this a jacket? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Open it up. Look at it. That way, that way you'll always, hey, you'll always remember us, man, no matter where you're at, right? Come on, mm-hmm. man. This is crazy. Yeah. Don't make man. fun of my little shirt, bro. Hey, Stop man, it's all good, good, man. Yeah, I know you keep them tight. Like keep them tight, tight and right. That's tight and right. Stay tight and right. <laughs> push ups and pull ups and shit. You know oh, yeah, saying? yeah. On the, on the pull up and push up, boy. Really, How many push ups can you do? Not many. This guy is not that guy. Not many, oh, bro. oh. Well, I mean, Don't never mess with a man in his push up. I can knock out 50 if I have to. Straight. Straight. I'm going to be tired, though. I don't know, maybe. She maybe, was worried about that fitting you. Let's see what happens here. I'm very. Yeah. Come on, now. Let's check on fit like a Glock. I'm ready to tell it's perfect size. Stop playing. That's hey. it. Hey. With the Jay Cruz. Everything hey. cruising, baby. Oh, yeah. Now that boy hey. fishing with like a referee with a whistle, right? Hey. How I look. Say, yeah. man, shout out. To, man, I got to get my phone out. Y'all stop look. playing, and man. And a hoodie. And that's a hoodie. Yeah, man. We love hard over here when we love. Stop playing, man. There it is. That thing is mean. Good quality, too. Nice man. Stitching. Oh, man. <laughs> Jay Cruz in the building, man. It's going down, man. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Nah, this, man, man, come on, man. It's going down more. And when we change up stuff, we finna start locking in. We gotta get them to say our name. Cause we get new designs all the time. Correct, man. We thank you for coming on the show, man. You're a no, dope dude, it. man. Mm. And that's why we did it. I was like, nah, don't come yet. You're. Right. I'm like, don't come yet. We gotta be ready for you, man. Yeah, this right. time, oh, that's uh, yeah. that's why you said that. Yeah. yeah. Cruz, hold on, man. Um, you gonna have to come next week. Yeah, you gonna. Have to, I gotta do something. <laughs> check it, man. Yeah, you hey, man. Say, man. Something. Check it, man. We got also, man. We love you. Nah, you know, we love that, you, bro. So, well, you've been on a lot of podcasts, right? Um, we would like to bam. present you. Nobody's giving the play. It's crazy. <laughs> With an award. Yeah, Y'all yeah. Gotta give me this video once it's all done. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I got you. This, okay. So we, we small over here. We, we, yeah, you ain't gonna get out yeah, of this one. I appreciate one. that. This is presented to Jay Cruz because I could not figure out what Jay stands for. I've searched everywhere. Uh, for Jay. Jay. The, it, it came, my real initials are JK. 
Okay. And Jay Cruz is, is not my real name. It's a made-up radio name. Okay, okay. But We're I'm not going to say for, what my real name right, is. Right, 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 right. I was searching everywhere and, and for it. And it's not out there. It. You could find it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You could find it. You could find it. And today we should be able to find it. I looked it. everywhere. Sure? Nice. Go ahead. But it says, presented to Mr. Jay Cruz, in recognition of being an outstanding on-air personality, devoted to radio and disc jockey industry for over 15 years, Making a change through media. Shut up. Look at y'all. Say, man, that. we Give love you, bro. We award. love you. You got to show it to the camera. We love you, bro. That's it, man. Jay Cruz in the building, y'all. Stop playing, man. <laughs> oh, I got to get my camera back up here, too. This man, is this is so dope, y'all. I really appreciate this. Say, man, so it, it, we we the podcast to be giving out uh, giving plaques, Giving roses right? while you're giving here. Giving roses like while we're here. Yeah, yeah no, that's what sure. we that's believe it. in. Because you know, I hate when they, you know, you're gone and they just want to present it to the family and to the this yeah, and to the that. Yeah, yeah. Like that person's gone already. So let me say that uh, I respect this podcast. You guys Thank impressed you so me much. the first time I was here, and you impressed me the second time <laughs> I'm here. So you, y'all doing it, man? Uh, thank you, I mean man. That. I mean no, that. no, like, thank like you. You guys I are think doing good. if you know, and, and we know that when when all said and done, we did everything we could with the moments that we had to yeah, spend definitely. with you guys, man. And that's important, right? Yeah, and we support each other. That's Everybody, out, when we do give out the plaques, to be like. I never. Duro was like, I never got a plaque from a podcast. It's the first one. I take this very serious. They did not play about that. He snapped it and everything. Oh posted man, he was in love yeah. because at the end of the day, you know, it's just we know already that in the time we in now, podcasting yeah. is something new. And I was like, how can we be different? This has been going on ever since we started. So it ain't like we just started it. It was like we had to find like, okay, if you come quick, like you came, like oh, okay, we didn't get to do him. We gonna get him back. It's certain ones like, and I ain't gonna say their name, but they coming back, and they don't realize why they coming back. It's because of stuff like this. We gotta try to make sure yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. leave Show nobody appreciation. out. Like, man, we love you guys, man. Like Without y'all, you remember that shit, man. That shit sticks. You know what I'm saying? Like definitely, man. A little extra attention to detail, doing something like going above and beyond. Type Ex shit. Especially when we see your work, we oh, see you what you've been like a, doing. Man, you because yes, you're on air, but you know when I see you on social media that you're at a lot of these. Um, Man, he help everybody these, if he can. Yes, these no, cases sure, that come up sure. that you're trying to shed light on certain situations, and you're out here trying to you know let people know what's going on and how we can help and stuff like that. It's it's commendable and just showing like I like sometimes people are they tell me they're surprised how down to earth I am. Oh, you are. They are. They're like, yo, man, Cruz, I just thought you'd be more. Now, don't get me wrong. I talk that shit. No, nah, but you mm -hmm. dope, More like, Hollywood. Be I, I have. I mean, and I get it. I remind a motherfucker what I've accomplished when if you try, if you attempt to downplay me or yeah. you attempt to, yeah, like, yeah. act like I couldn't if I wanted to. But, no, I just, people are always like, man, it's just, you know, you're just so. You are. You that guy. Welcoming and accepting. You and know, like, you helping you know, us. I, I'll, I'll listen to somebody. Like, you know, I'll give you a chance. I'll, I'll go to your shit. You know, I try to do as much community shit as I can. And I also have reasonable prices, like when I charge people for, for sure. shit. You right. know, I yeah. try not to. I know not where I live. I know where I am, and every circumstance is different. Like you know, mm -hmm. you have got these young rappers out here who barely got five hundred dollars, but you know, you taxing them a thousand dollars for they something because, it. and it's like, mm, it's, uh, to me, it's not. Fair. It don't make sense. Well, fair. thank you so much for coming on the show. This is not your last time. We will have you back. Right. Uh, we phasing wow. you in, like right, like, like it may or be. Yeah, yeah. We got to do the guest host thing. thing. We got. Hey, we got to make sure we bring it when people come to Dallas. They got to be able to say, "Man, we can go over there to Boss Talk." Man, that mm -hmm. podcast, that dope. That's you what it's said all that about. Before. Yeah, that's what you a lot said of people flying time. in though. I love it. I ain't gonna lie. We get mm -hmm. calls and emails and DMs and stuck on lock. It's getting more and more prevalent that way. Yeah, people are calling. I think it's also that it's you guys. I, I got to give it to you guys, like the team. Like, it's y'all yeah. two. She's setting the shit up. Like, it's just the person. Nah, that wasn't like that at first. She yeah. took that from like, me, bro. Like, the first month, it wasn't like that. But then I ever since I remember when I was here the first time, you were setting the stuff okay. up. She ain't playing. No, we were both doing it back then. Oh, okay, okay. But she took it. Like, yeah. you, but they editing something. We, we got to, uh, we can do no, it, right? That's no, what because, I'm saying. It's no, the team, no, y'all. Because he take, asked, nobody can do it alone. Yeah, no. because he he's like, come on, let me show you. Because in the beginning, he's like, come on, let me show you how to do this editing. You know how when you know your husband or you know your spouse and you know that once he says that and then you get it, <laughs> then most of the work is going to be on you? Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 baby, you got it. You got it. You you go ahead and keep that editing. Go ahead. I wouldn't be where I'm at without wifey. It's it all me time. neither, man. Thank you so much, man. I want to say thank you, man. Um, we love you. And it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. 
What a boss's talk. And we out. Okay, J. Cruz. We here at Boss Talk Podcast 101. Don't start crying. I know, okay? I'm about to get don't, emotional, don't, right? Don't Let's go. Let's do this, man. There's so much history here. <laughs> hey. We'd love to present you with this award. It says, presented to Mr. J. Cruz in recognition of being an outstanding on air radio personality devoted to radio and disc jockey industry for over 15 years, mm. making a change through media. 2022. E. E. Um. I don't know what to say. I, I really appreciate this right here. Like, and I, and I mean this. Like, a lot of times, the things you do, you feel like they're not acknowledged or recognized. And when people go out of their way to remind you that they see your efforts and appreciate what you do, it really means a lot. So this this <laughs> this really means a lot. We love it. I really appreciate y'all both. Giving out roses while they here. That's right. And my dog died the other day, so I'm a little emotional. Right so now. this oh. this helps. That's why rest he put in, a rest in keep peace, the Tika. On. That's right. We keep the shades on. Rest, rest in peace, peace Tika. 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 No, but all jokes aside, I, I really appreciate this. I, I respect what y'all do here. Uh, Boss Talk 101, one of the most dopest professional, po dopest podcast dopest. here. I mean, and I, I want to say Dallas, but y'all travel. Y'all pick up Y'all yeah. travel. Y'all pick up the show. So it's everywhere. You guys are definitely making moves, and people are seeing. That's why y'all phone ringing. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, man, get us on the podcast, man. I gotta get on the podcast, man. I need you to throw him on here. Check it, man. Shit. This is Jay Cruz. He here, man. Jay Cruz is in the building, man. We yeah. got him, man. For a second time as well. And he got an award. It's popping. <laughs>